Feel like I got a little frog in my throat, but I'm gonna try to get through this. Lay back and rap to y'all a little bit, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all a story about the Scottsboro boy. All right, stand by. <clears throat> LB.com. It's crazy how they do it, y'all. <clears throat> Alright, but check this out I want y'all to go back with me To the Great Depression Are we talking about around the uh, 1930s, y'all If I'm not mistaken Maybe around 1932 <laughs> You got poor folks Jumping the trains and riding the rails because there's no employment. LB.com. Now they can't afford to sit back and chill because they got to eat. So they ride the rails looking for anything resembling employment. <clears throat> now here's the situation, y'all. We got nine black teenagers from the ages of 12, 13, to 17. Now they riding the rails as well, looking for employment. Now check this. A fight break out on the train between the white boys and those brothers. And the brothers stone cold put foot in their ass, beat the shit out of them. Beat the ass real good. <clears throat> now, the train stops in Scottsboro, Alabama because of the fight. Not normally a regular scheduled stop, but the fight the reason for the train to stop. Now, the sheriff and the town folks, they got wind of it that some brothers was beating up on some crackers and they was all standing by waiting on the train to arrive. <clears throat> so, when the train stops, the white boys, they get off first. Then the brothers get off. Here's the kicker. Two white whores get off. Two prostitutes get off the train as well. Download the, the plot thickens. Now we got black boys, white prostitutes on the train in the 1930s. <clears throat> like I say, 32, if I'm not mistaken. 1932. Victoria Price and Ruby Butler are the two stank bitches who screamed rape from these nine teenage brothers. Had to be Hester, those white boys. We'll get around to that later. Now, these brothers were swiftly jailed, corralled, and carted off to an Alabama prison. The trial, y'all. The trial, y'all. Lasted. One fucking day. <laughs> and during that trial, old stank ass Vicky Price, she alleged she was viciously, brutally raped by the Scottsboro boys. 
Y'all know the story. The doctor examined these hoes, right? <clears throat> and upon his examination, when he concluded his examination, he discovered that these hoes hadn't been touched. Definitely not raped. Now, the doctor didn't Dad, testify at the trial, but he told everybody the they did not get raped. The brothers were convicted. Eight of them sentenced to death by electric chair. And the youngest brother, 12 year old, 13 year old, got sentenced to life in an Alabama prison. Now, I guess old Ruby Bates' conscience got the best of her because she changed the story. She said that it didn't happen. She said, we some whores, we prostitutes, we fuck for a living. And we was afraid of the Federal Man Act, which you can't cross state lines to do the nasty felony federal charge so since they crossed over from Tennessee into Alabama she said we were scared so we screamed rape and we brought them rape charges now they say they were scared of being prosecuted of the man act that's why they scream rape now this shit is funny right here but it ain't funny you understand what I mean? Now, the legal team for these brothers LB in this one day trial was a senile son bitch and the town drunk. Now, the one attorney who's senile, this son bitch, he, he looking for flying pigs, right? And the town drunk, who drunk as fuck, he seeing flying pigs. <laughs> Give him a drip. <laughs> now we talking about in the 30s, y'all. Case get kicked up to the Supreme Court. All right? Supreme Court, look at this shit. Come on, man. Y'all must be on some bullshit. This some bullshit. Man, look. Kick this shit back down to Alabama. Y'all do that shit again. Now this time, the Scott Boy boys, they got a dream team come to the rescue. And what I mean by that, some competent lawyers who put up an adequate defense. And once they begin to construct the train on some Conjunction, junction, what's your function type shit. They began to realize the that some of the, purchase. most of the Scott's girl boys wasn't even in the same car with these two white whores. But when them brothers kicked those white boys ass in the train for it to be able to stop initially, they told those white girls, say, look, we gonna get off first, y'all stay back. Y'all gonna go to jail if y'all don't scream rape. Cause the man act is in full effect. And them whores, they scream rape. But like I said, Ruby Bates, her conscience got the best of her. She changed her motherfucking story, told the truth. Now, so, if all the boys are not in the same car with these whores, how can a rape occur? Now, I know what they say about us brothers. And these whores a couple of, couple of doors down now. Hey, Long Johnny Blackbone and Long Dong Silver, they wasn't, they wasn't alive yet. I digress. 
Once again, these nine brothers were convicted. <clears throat> it took about 18 years for the last of the eight to be released from prison. 17 year old, now he's 35. Now a few of the brothers, a few of the brothers escaped and they were tracked up to Michigan. And so these bounty hunters, once they got to Michigan, Michigan say, and they were in Michigan say, no, we're not gonna extradite these brothers. Although they were convicted felons on some bullshit. Michigan like, nah, y'all can't have them. Now, we still got the young 12, 13 year old young brother who was sentenced to life in the Alabama prison in 1930s. I'd say 32, I wanna say. In 1980 something, The young brother was pardoned by Governor Wallace. 50 some odd years in prison for a crime they didn't commit. And the atrocities still go on today. See, there's no such thing in the, as truth in the court system. It's what the courts want to believe. It's what the prosecutors want to believe. It's what the police lie and tell you. A person can levy a charge against you. And that's your ass, Mr. Postman. If you don't have the skriller to dilla. I'm going to give a shout out to the Scottsboro boys. And I should have done my due diligence to get those brothers' names. And I'm going to see if I can uh, Google them right quick. Because their names should be known. Scott's Burrow Bull. Stand by, y'all. Okay, I got their names right here. Haywood Patterson. Rest in peace. Olin Montgomery. Rest in peace. Clarence Norris. Rest in peace. Download the full high definition. Willie. Robertson, rest in peace. Andy Wright, rest in peace. Ozzy Powell, rest in peace. Eugene Williams, rest in peace. Charlie Weems, rest in peace. And Roy White, rest in peace. The Scottsboro Boys, ladies and gentlemen. The struggle continues. In a minute, y'all, I'm gone.